Waves have many stages in their lives. They are born as ripples, grow into white caps, chop, wind waves, and finally into fully developed storm seas. As these seas pass out from under the waves that form them, they diminish in height and steepness into low, sign-shaped swell. As swell, waves may traverse great stretches of open ocean without much loss of energy. Eventually, they reach the shoaling waters of the continental shelf. And once on the shelf, the wave fronts are bent until they are almost parallel to the shoreline. All this is merely preparation for the final and most exciting step. The irregular waves of deep water are organized by the effect of the bottom into long, regular lines of crests moving in the same direction at similar velocities. The romanticist thinks of the forces of the sea being marshaled for an exuberant death against an ancient enemy. The depth continues to decrease until finally, in very shallow water, it becomes impossible for the oscillating water particles to complete their orbits. When the orbits break, the wave breaks. The crest tumbles forward, falling into the trough ahead is a mass of foaming white water. The momentum carries the broken water onward until the wave's last remaining energy is expended in a gentle swash that rushes up the beach face and sinks from sight, and the wave is gone. This zone where waves give up their energy and where systematic water motions give way to violent turbulence is called the surf. It is the most exciting part of the ocean. As the swell from deep sea moves into very shallow water, it is traveling at a speed of 15 to 20 miles an hour, and the changes in its character over the final few dozen yards to shore come very rapidly. In the approach to shore, the drag of the bottom causes the wave velocity to decrease. The decrease causes the phenomenon of refraction and one of its effects is to shorten the wave length. As length decreases, wave steepness increases, tending to make the waves less stable. As a wave crest moves into water, whose depth is about twice the wave height, another effect is observed, which further increases wave steepness. The crest peaks up. The rounded crest that is identified with swell is transformed into a higher, more pointed mass of water with steeper flanks. As the depth of water continues to decrease, the circular orbits are squeezed into a tilted ellipse, and the orbital velocity of the crest increases with the increasing wave height. This sequence of changes in wavelength and steepness is the prelude to breaking. Finally, at a depth of water roughly 1.3 times the wave height, the wave becomes unstable. This happens when not enough water is available in the shallow water ahead to fill in the crest and complete a symmetrical wave form. The top of the onrushing crest becomes unsupported and it collapses, falling in uncompleted orbits. The wave has broken. The result is surf. <laughs>